Hey, welcome to Lobster Magnets Review the Channel, the review. I am here with my good old buddy Goro Gregoro and Zavu. Evening, folks. Yo. So we are here to talk about the Promised Neverland chapter. <laughs> is it forty-five? Or forty-six? Uh, it's forty-five. I don't know. All right, okay. it's forty-five. It's forty-five. So before we get into like the actual meat and uh, meat and, uh, and potatoes of the chapter description, the thing I want to bring up first though is that wonderful piece of fan artwork that I sent you of like Ninja Emma <laughs> with the fucking okay. bleach mask and, and like, oh like my half God. of like the, half of the weird fun of this is like we're like suspecting. Like, you know, oh, man, they're going to ruin it this one. They're going to ruin it this time. Is it going to ruin it this time? <laughs> it's going to fail. It's going to fall apart. It's like half of the, 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 the balancing act. So far, it hasn't happened. But I love it how, like, the fandom is now demanding, like, all the tasteless <laughs> elements. Because, like, <laughs> it is the stupidest. Like, I, I can see the logic of the person who made it. Because it's not a terrible piece of artwork. And I'm going to link it so you can see, you know, boob ninja Emma. You know, she's got a tasteful outfit, a little skirt. And, but, you know, and, you know, and she's got the blade of the demons. So it's in the universe. And, like, she's got a mask, which is kind of like the demon mask. And she looks so edgy. She's going to come back and save the kids and kick ass. But, like, <laughs> this is, like, the, the dumbest, most terrible, inappropriate story choice. It, that... it is like the exact opposite of everything that makes this story but it's kind of so like, well. It's kind of like what we always wanted to see because like it's like in its most ridiculous form like what happens when some bad editor comes in like it, no, changes no, Promise no, no, Neverland. No, 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 for, no. Like, that is not absolute... what I wanted to see. That is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> yes, you know what I wanted we to see? Asked for I it. wanted to see one of the little children being eaten. Okay, that, that 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 is where I wanted this story to go. Okay, we, I didn't want to see her with like a magical ninja goddamn mask and a sword and and, no. and, and a new fucking costume after a time skip. Fuck we, you. We wanted to see one good version and one bad version. We could do a Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Tree. You know what? I, I I actually could get really behind that. Is if we would. God, that would be such a good gimmick. That would be such an amazing gimmick. What what what, what gimmick are you talking about? It is is if you started something like this and then halfway through it like handed a spin-off to someone else and just like and then continued to do your own story and, and like constantly had ran polls as to which people <laughs> like better and then there was like this terrible terrible weeaboo thing with like bleach power-ups and some asshole villain that is like literally plans everything like six months in advance and every single time he talks it's like pulling plot out his ass. Well, <laughs> the you know, the other one <laughs> is like no powers. <laughs> Everything is just terrible. People getting eaten. <laughs> you, you just want to see alternate versions of like the same story of like weird fan fiction of like where it could go. Like the, you know, story A is like, you know, whatever it's going to be. Story B is the horrible shonen one. Story exactly. C is like the, the grim dark one where everyone, like all the children are getting eaten. Look, I'm still really invested in a slice of life for these weird demon monsters, okay? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like Azumanga Dayo, but for, like, you know, weird Lovecraftian child-eating demons. So does that make uh, four different storylines that we want to see? We want to well, see... Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, well, maybe if we get PewDiePie money, we can go pay the cat or someone else to make our fantasy fan fiction of just all the stupid things that we want to see from Promise Neverland. Although, oh god, though, they're, you know it would be really terrible if, like, you know, they meet William Minerva and he's like a big sensei and he's like, the reason why they want to eat you is because they're measuring the energy level in your brains. But I can can't teach you how to harness that energy level and you can fight them back. Okay. Oh, Jesus I hope that doesn't right, happen. I, that would be like the other line. That would be like the, the way too stupid line that I would never want to see. <laughs> <laughs> you were very supportive of like Skull Ninja no, 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 Emma. No, 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 That's a different kind of line. stupid though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The, the way too stupid line would be like, okay, imagine if Emma gets a Bankai and eventually gets the fucking stupid bleach mask and it looks like a goddamn demon. <laughs> yes, that's the line I would like to see, but not like I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Die in a fire. I, I still want that William Minerva to like turn out to be like an energy sword or energy axe. 
Th- 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 that's the kind of stupid I, <laughs> I want to do. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I, I'm 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 hypeful. I'm uh, did I say hypeful? I said yes, you did. Hopeful. Yes, you fucking I'm hopeful. You. F- I'm hopeful for all the lines, of uh, what's gonna be coming, okay. with uh, I mean the series. Okay, he's he's done like what, forty some cha- 40, 40, 45 40, 40 chapters, chapters now. It, yeah, it's getting close to like the year, first year anniversary. Okay. Yeah, he's built up some goodwill. I am willing to see where this goes, because yeah, I mean, who knows? They they haven't even pulled their stupid cowl off yet. We don't even know if they're demons. Ray could yeah. actually be wrong for once, one time. <laughs> Well, well so. as, as much as I love talking about Ninja Emma and her super action set piece and my dreams of eventually paying someone to draw terrible fan art with the William Minerva sword, um, <laughs> let's get into this chapter. So it looks like, Scott, your prediction might be right, possibly. I had my own thoughts about it, where, you know, uh, it was basically like kind of a transition chapter. It's I, like, thought, you know, I thought two of us were right. It was like, at first they were good, and then they could turn out to be, like, bad guys as well. Well, it's implying, like, Ray gives his big assumption that you're demons, too, and, like, you know, they, they, they just smile menacingly, and then, although the guy's got, like, a Korean name, the other one, the bigger guy, Sung Yi Woo or something? Yeah. I'm not Which, sure what uh, that's about. I don't, I don't know. I think that's very interesting, it's because we, we don't really know about, like, other races in that world. Well, obviously, there are other, yeah. like, you know, races and ethnicities, but... You know, because so much is left to, you know, we don't even know where they are, if they're in Japan, if they're in America, or for well, all we know, so it could far, all be taking place in Canada. So far, we've been giving mostly, like, um, you know what, American, all, standard all the, American names, I think. You know, considering all the weird bullshit that we've been seeing, I'm also totally willing to believe this is an art. Yeah, yeah, I, I, could, I could believe that as well. I mean... Uh, I, I think that's just as viable as anything else. Considering the weird animals at this point, I'm just that's that's kind of where I'm going with. Or I mean, I guess it could be like a futuristic post-apocalyptic Earth, but I'm I'm willing to believe this is an Earth at this point. Um, and yeah, I'm. We've hit yet another point where this could be absolutely terrible or surprise us really well, and I, I'm really hoping they don't have like a bunch of like. Super powered, good guy, um, good guy, demon creatures, and that that would just piss me off so well, they, much. They, they look human for all intents and purposes. The only thing to imply that they're demons is the fact that they're riding on the Giger horse, uh, and I feel like that's Ray's only evidence to like call them demons. Although you know they could be like fake humans from another plantation, like you were predicting, Scott. That would be a neat thing. Yeah, that, I, thought, that would be... I thought I predicted that. I, I thought no, that was like Scott. That, I'm pretty sure that was like Scott's like, thing. He was going to. I was I was saying that they were going to um, be like spies from another plantation and send them out to try and send them out to a different plantation. Yeah, I what I was, but what, they could have been like good demons. I think yeah, one of you two, said said they could have been like good demons. Yeah, the two things I was gunning for was that I was really disappointed about was one. I was actually hoping that um, the uh, the thing right the, the person riding the gear horse turned out to be like maybe not from another plantation, but like another mama or another uh, person working for them gaining. It, the, it could still be that you know, as yeah, of right now, it's still yeah. ambiguous. And that it's does right seem now. To be what, that does seem to be what Ray is pointing at, and I'm kind of hoping that's true. That, that's what it feels like. I don't, I don't feel like they're, they're, like, directly demons. I feel like he's just, like, wary because, you know, the, the weird horse thing looks too much like, you know, the demon creatures he's seen. So that's why he suspects it. My prediction is I feel like it's going to be, like, you know, they're actually good guy resistance fighters who have, like, you know, genetic engineering. But, like, you know, for the purpose of, like, having a good cliffhanger, um, you know, they, they're, you know, doing the intentional mislead with Ray accusing them, and then, you know, the, the little girl does the suspicious smile, and of course we don't get any fucking answers. I want my fucking info dump. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean. I could see that. That would be good. 
Um, uh, maybe we'll get an next chapter. Fingers crossed. Although, you know, it'd be really pissed me off if, like, um, the demons, like, track them down to whatever cave they're in. And then they're like, ah, we found you. And then, like, you know, the little girl and the guy on the horse, they're like, you know, ah, get away, kids. Uh, go find William Minerva. And we can proceed not to get any answers. Oh, God, that would piss me off so much. But uh, it, it's better than some of the shit that could happen. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's like not like a terrible option because I like man, am I desperate for like fucking answers? Yeah, the you know, other just... thing. So the other thing I'll say is, um, I understand that the entire point of the series is mystery and kind of hang of uh, depending on cliffhangers a little bit. But man, I really just wish we could get like an honest gut reaction out of somebody for once. What um, do you mean? <laughs> rather than just like. You're a demon. Mysterious smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like if that turns out to be a demon, okay, sure, I'll I'll hand that to you. But if it's not, it would be like, you're a demon, bitch. I just saved your life. You can suck it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you, you see like... me riding on the giant horse? Do you see the awesome lance I'm carrying? Shut up. Sit down. And here's some antibiotics for your ear. Christ! <laughs> Fucking no hungry. goddamn gratitude, you William know, Minerva. This I'm sitting here in a goddamn forest for three goddamn years, and this is what I get. That's an interesting point because, um, uh, what was I gonna say about that? Uh, crap, I just blanked out. Because yeah, yeah I, I agree. There, there's a little bit of a frustration factor in that sense, where it's like, you know, bitch, stop smiling you know, to try and give us the illusion that you're, you know, uh, being something you're, when you, I don't know, I'm oh, like yeah. 90% sure she's going to be good. It's like, uh, it may be one of the negatives of this, uh, this chapter. It's just like a little bit too mysterious. Like, why couldn't they just like do a little bit of like, give the kids a little bit of information? Why are they being so damn mysterious? It just seems a little bit off. Yeah, well, I mean, I, again, if this turns out to be like, they are evil or demons or whatever the hell. Eh, it all kind of works out. That makes sense. But if they're not, I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, yeah. They're like that. We the first thing you do is just like rip the hood off and go, "Hey, new friend. Guess what? Not weird. Horse is weird. Two eyes exactly where they should be." <laughs> <laughs> Although, if they actually do unveil the hood and there's some sort of cool monstrosity, that would like go a long way towards selling it to me. I, I, I like deformities and monstrosities, but like they, they look like humans. They're acting like humans. Like there, There's nothing to imply that they're, they're not humans, as far as I'm concerned. I'm, oh, that I'm, would just, be... I'm just looking forward to the big information dump. That's... Oh, that would be the worst plot twist, is if we find out they can, like, transform into something else. Oh, that'd be lame. That'd be so lame. It's not out of the <laughs> bounds right now, but, oh, God, that'd be so lame. Or maybe they transform into a good demon. <sighs> something. Or, like, aha, we, we, you have, like, the weird dog things hurting you, but, aha, I trap card, motherfuckers. <laughs> I, I'm secretly evil the entire time. I mean, we, we probably just could have picked you up and, you know, slapped you around and crammed you in a cage. But this this it makes so much more sense. So, yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Hmm. What was I going to say? Uh, so, guys, what would you rate this chapter? For me, it was a 7, just because it was kind of like a uh, transitional thing. I heard, yeah, I'm going to... I feel like I needed a little bit more from this chapter. I... I agree. I think it does deserve a seven. I mean, in some ways, uh, you can't fault it. It's like a transitional chapter. It didn't give us any reveals. More like vague. I mean, if it, if there's the payoff is really cool, um, and you know they are some sort of twisted demon or something, or like working for another farm, then it'll be good. If they're just good, then it'll just be like a fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah I'll that, that, that'll annoy me. It won't kill the series for me outright. Yeah, but it, it'll it'll make me be a little little annoyed. Kind of like how I get in, you know, I don't drop one piece when they do like the fake deaths. Like, oh my god, Law got shot with bullets. 
he did he make it till next week? And it's like, motherfucker, that's like the most ineffectual thing you could do to someone in one piece to shoot them with bullets. Hey, hey wait, you, 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 wait, wait thing, Isaac, it was the, it was the fifth time that he was shot with bullets. This time it might be, he might be dead. Rosa, they had three <laughs> fake out deaths for law. And it's like, we know he's not going to fucking die. I know you don't have the balls to do it, Oda. So fuck you. You know, don't give me this fake out death and you're like going to go through it. You know, <laughs> you earned a lot from me from killing Ace. I was eternally grateful for that. But like, I know you too well that you don't like murdering people. Jonan Jump doesn't like letting you murder people, even though there's plenty of people you could probably fucking murder. Yeah. You know what would be amazing, though? That what would be perfect and would just give credence to those fake out deaths for like the next three fucking years is at some point somebody important just gets shot and they die <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh... like like someone just blows carrot's head off <laughs> <laughs> like obviously it would, it, obviously it couldn't just be like a generic standard marine because they're they're about as ineffectual as like D and D goblins. Oh, oh, but, yeah. like if we actually got like if we I know who should do it. Like one of black like Blackbeard sniper or something actually do something useful and uh, I don't know like somebody important dies. What's his I, I name? Really the, like mar- the marine kid. The what's his name? Colby. Yes, Colby, Colby. kills <laughs> one of the straw hat pirates. Uh, no, no, Kobe can't die, and there's a very important no, no, reason no. why Kobe kills, can't die. He, he kills one of the Straw Hat Pirates. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if he kills Carrot, I, I would love that. That would be an amazing piece of drama. Oh, it's never going to happen, but if Oda had that balls, but, like, you know, Carrot is, like, waifu material. Everyone fucking loves Carrot. They're going to make five bajillion figures who knows? Maybe Carrot will replace Law is like everyone's favorite cosplay character. Hey, she's like, I don't hate Carrot. I would be okay I, with her joining the Straw Hats. I, I don't hate her either, but like, I, I don't know. I, I, there's just like, what annoys me about her, like, I mean, she's not terrible as, you know, char- as like Oda's characters go, but like, what sort of annoys me is that she feels so calculated. Like, 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 she feels like this, she was put in this algorithmic machine to like, you know, how many different things fetishes and fandoms can I cross over to make the ultimate marketable character? Jesus Christ. Like, 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 I, I, I'm I don't sure know. That's not how Oda's mind works when he's making this manga. I, I mean, mean, come on. Maybe an editor, maybe I, one I'm of his editors sure was like... I'm pretty sure he just, like, puts shit in a blender and see what comes out. <laughs> he, he has, like, the best version of, like, the manatee joke, except it's it's fucking um, except it's fucking character creation. Okay, this guy wears sunglasses and walks weird and has he has a silhouette uh, of a triangle. Uh, turtle powers. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, oh wait, wait! The manatee has a new idea. He's a lion. <laughs> Okay, Wait, he's eating the lion. Lion, lion, a lion who ate the manatee manatee fruit. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I was referring specifically to what's the lion guy's name with the cute eyes? I, I can't remember his name. Oh, Peckums? Main... Yeah, yeah, Peckums. Peckums? Like, yeah, it, it does feel like a lot of Lotus characters just come from like the random manga idea generator, but he, he he's he, he's kind of like makes it work. Um, yeah, I mean, although... like, if they'd actually killed him. That that would have been like given us so much fucking, like, so much credibility to every other fake out death for the next three goddamn years. Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, that'd be amazing. Um, and, and I guess fake out deaths in One Piece, bringing bringing back to Promised Neverland, is kind of like the child deaths in uh, you know, that you want in Promised Neverland. Yeah, <laughs> child much. death is like the great consequence, and, and we think we got one with Norman, even though it was like done in the most tasteful, non gruesome way. Although, you know, I, I, until I see a body, I, I, Norman's not quite dead to me. Uh, I, I feel like there'll be some excuse to bring him back. Yeah, uh, I mean, shonen characters are like vampires. You have to kill them, cut their head off, stuff them. <laughs> with, like, I don't know, I guess ramen in this case. And bury the head and the body separately. And even then, you know, you're, you're not completely secure because well, they might have Dragon Balls. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 actually, guys, that when, reminds when me. do you feel like would be the latest that Norman should show up in the manga, in the series, if he was still alive. 
Because I feel like they should do it sort of soonish. Maybe like I within. Would I would almost be tempted to say wait a year. Wait a year? Oh. Make it a complete surprise. Okay. If they were going to do it. But not like towards well, the like end a of the year, series. A year in um in in like real time. A year like in like story time or like a year in publishing time. In publishing time. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be terrible. It would be kind of like a Sabo, where like you know, um, we didn't really call. You know, it was nice to have Sabo come back, and Oda waited like a long time to like reintroduce him. Yeah, I actually uh, think I think they should do it sooner. I think, uh, you know. I think it might be like oh, uh, a little bit too obvious for the the rest of the audience. Like I, I kind of want to see that payoff like right off the bat and see like them interact with Ray and Emma. Yeah. Anyway, so I'd give this well, a good, I guess yeah. I give it a seven. Greg, do you have a rating? I I give it a seven too. I think there's a little bit just too much mystery behind those those two new characters and they just like they're not giving any information. It's really, really weird. Yeah, it's starting to stretch at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm not sure if he's just like scrambling for a new idea or if he's actually leading to something, but it's it's starting to wear a little thin for me. Yeah, that's true. Like, we, we need to see faces. We need a little bit of background. Just, like, give us fucking something. Because, like, they're, they're probably going to be good guys. Just admit they're good guys so we can move on to the next thing. Like, let's get on with it. We don't need a stupid mystery. There's nothing worse than, like, dumb cliffhangers and stupid mysteries. Obviously, it's not as bad as, like, you know, the, the piece of artwork that we love to talk about so much. But, you know, there is this bit of, like, you're real spinning. Stop wasting our time. Let's, let's get to the next cool thing. Yep. Um... You know, it'll take a lot to. Oh man, one of these days. Well, I don't know if I'll ever get to, uh, to do this uh, with you, Scott. But one of the, one of these days, one of the things I want to do is I, I like to call the Shonen Jump Graveyard, where <laughs> I'm going to like make Greg read along with me like dead series in Shonen oh, Jump. That's going to be. And we're going to do like reviews of them. So like, God, like I'd be willing I told, to go with that. Yeah, U nineteen uh, just got canceled. What that was the that was the bad version of like that was Promise the bad Neverland version of Story. Promise Neverland. <laughs> it just got canceled, and oh my god, it's just so amazing. Like when you see like the sort of like things that like should work but just aren't unearned. Like God, oh, let me give you like a brief two minute synopsis. So like the kids have libido powers and they're like fighting against the adults, but it, it turns out that the adult party wants to like raise like super people through genetic breeding and like eugenics to like fight, you know, reclaim Japan's glory from World War II and take over the world. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and they just keep on introducing the kids and they have, like, such terrible powers and then they have this big scene where it's like, oh my god, it's the leader of the adult party. What is he gonna do? He, he's, he's, he's the smart guy and he just, like, you know, oh, all right. Everyone turn up the volume really loud on the speakers. And then that, like, negates the stupid random sound girl's power. And it's like, oh, my God, he's a total monster. He defeated us by turning up the stereos. And, and like, yeah, okay. you know, the moments like the, those are, like, important when you're like, oh, my God, this character is so incredible and so smart. But, like, you know, the actual mechanics of what he did just felt so dumb and basic. It's like, uh, you're not selling me on, like, this guy should be intimidating. Yeah, I mean, at that point, it's just like, okay, everybody, put your earphones in, put your put, put put your goddamn like, put your goddamn um earplugs in. Wait, 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 why didn't we just do that? To, oh, fuck it, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's awful. It, it's terrible. So it's eventually, at some point, we're, 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 I'm gonna make this fucking happen. But you know, like I said, this channel's always a work in progress. So all right, so let's wrap this up. Um, before we end it off, it's shell time. Um, I'm gonna try this something a little bit different. It's shell um, time. Down, shill time. Shill, oh, shill time. Shill. Yeah. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shill. Yeah, we're trying uh, to so, sell these people something. Exactly. Because we, we hate ourselves and we need yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because because I like money. So no, 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 this is great. This is great. You don't need oh, to buy you, them something you, on Amazon. You came so, up with a uh, with an affiliate link or or what you call it. God damn it, Greg! I spent like five minutes explaining what I was gonna do in the beginning of this. How many times do I have to explain this? Oh, oh! I thought so it was gonna be—I thought it was gonna be anime related, or it's gonna be like uh, manga related. Just, just, all right, let me let me finish my shill speech. Okay. Today, this review is brought to you by Audible.com. 
Don't you like reading? No, you don't, because it requires work. But you know what I loved as a young child when William I had William Minerva's to... books on audiobook. Yes, exactly. There you go. You can listen to William Minerva books and become as smart as the children of <laughs> Thomas Neverland. Of course, you probably won't get smart books, but hey, you know, it's a book. It's better. You know, because I love the spoken word. It is the best thing in the world. Spoken word is awesome. Audible in audiobooks is awesome. So if you go down there and click the link in the description, there is a 30-day free trial for audio, which Audible, which gives you two free books of audiobooks that you can listen to while you're folding laundry, cooking, doing boring shit, driving to work, and you can immerse yourself in a new story or educate yourself and become smarter, just like Emma and Ray and Millie Minerva. So click that link there, <laughs> sign up for an Audible trial if you don't already have it, and then I get a little taste of uh, something, and you get to free get free content. And you know, here's the best part. If you really want to stick it to the man, you can enjoy your free Audible account and cancel on, like, three weeks in and then it's free free it's free it's the best everyone happy yeah so try <laughs> audible um audible is great um i love the principle of audible i tried working at audible didn't get the job but now i'm here showing their stuff because <laughs> they're part of the amazon program because we need audible money. is great so sign up for audible and you'll make me happy and also it's william minerva book related so it's definitely yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a big plus it, it and fits also, me. also, it's it's really not what that terrible fucking Pabst Blue Ribbon hat we tried to sell you last time. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was listed as unavailable, even if they wanted to buy the Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, it was listed could... unavailable? I mean, uh, that's probably for the best. No one should wear that. I mean, no one should wear that, ever, <laughs> under any circumstances. Hope, that was terrible. I hope at least, like, the caveman outfit was... Uh... <laughs> Was not no, that, that, that was available. That was 100 percent available. Uh, have you guys people been, like, need to watching... cosplay as Doctor Stone? You know, Jesus as Doctor Stone funny. characters for God's sakes. It's like, <laughs> have you guys ever like watched the end of like the more recent video reviews we've been doing? Um, well, I've seen the have a lobster have a magnet thing. Well, no, no, no. Did you can't... see like, 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 like in the videos in my super editing skills? Like, I'm actually like putting like artwork for the thing in the video. <laughs> Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm taking this tip to the next level. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, validate me. Send me comments. Uh, I read most of them. Scott forgets that there are comments and he has other things to do. Uh, Greg, I remind there are comments and sometimes he replies to them. Um, but I like comments and I like being validated. So do that shit. It makes me feel good. Uh, and every YouTuber is like obligated to do it, or else you know they die of blood loss. Hey, um, if you told me there were actually good comments, I would fucking read them. <laughs> there's, 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 some, there's some nice comments. You, you okay, know, okay, it hasn't, fine, it hasn't been bad. It hasn't been bad. You, you know what? You know what? Just, 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 just submit a bunch of comments. You know, yelling at Isaac, and I'll probably read them. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you. We'll be back for a One Piece review. Uh, see you next week. All right. See you, folks. You got to love to be gone back yet. Love to sit down and don't grab it.